Santa Rosa, California, April 18, 1906. Most of the town's 10,000 residents were still in their beds, waiting for the sunrise to begin their long day's work. In an instant, with a sharp jolt, a creeping geological fault only a few miles away suddenly slipped. For almost 300 miles along the California coast, the mighty San Andreas Fault shifted as much as 20 feet in places. On that spring morning, Wednesday, April 18th, just before dawn a century ago, the great earthquake of Santa Rosa changed the world. Stores, hotels, warehouses, and offices were reduced to heaps of brick and crumbling mortar. No building, no residents escaped damage from the chaos. Hundreds of people were trapped, crushed, injured. More than a hundred of them died. The little 52-year-old farming town north of San Francisco Bay was destroyed. No other city on the American continent was ever so devastated by an earthquake as was Santa Rosa that day. Death and property damage grew as the fires raged, started by broken chimneys and fed by ruptured gas mains. Communications technology 100 years ago was the telegraph, newspapers, and steam-driven trains. In North Coast California, none of them worked, but the news spread eastward across the continent. The world heard of the destruction of the great city by the bay and called it the San Francisco earthquake. But the greatest impact was in Santa Rosa. Per capita, more people died. Every building was damaged. The only surviving resource were the people who shook themselves awake and started helping each other. This was not Santa Rosa's first earthquake, so many quakes that most people ignored them. Even the five quakes in seven years between 1857 and 1864. But in 1864 and twice again in 1865, big quakes demanded real attention. They were so strong that chimneys, stone fences, brick buildings, and a few people were knocked to the ground. Quakes became more frequent as 1906 grew closer. 14 more reported in Sonoma County the first six years as the 20th century began. This is the story of the greatest earthquake since the United States of America began. A story brought to life again by Gay LeBaron, Santa Rosa's legendary historian, author, and newspaper columnist in her two books about Santa Rosa, and commemorated here a century later by today's modern medium that combines her words with the great photographs of the day. We thank her for allowing us to use her words. And we thank the Press Democrat, our daily newspaper, Sonoma County's museum, our local library, the offspring of quake survivors, and our emergency services department, who permitted us to share these words and photographs with you a century later as an archival gift to our community from the Rotary Club of Santa Rosa. My name is Jim Johnson. In the great Santa Rosa earthquake, most loss of life was in the downtown area that, by design, was built mostly of brick. City fathers had seen San Francisco destroyed several times by disastrous fires in its early years, 
and decreed that the business district of Santa Rosa would be constructed of brick, locally made brick, put together with a lime mortar made from the sand and soil from the streams coursing through the young town. The 1906 quake quickly crumbled that mortar, and the town came tumbling down. The four-story Hotel Rose crumpled to a single level. Whole walls of other hotels and downtown buildings, some permanent homes to working men and women, crushed adjoining buildings and their occupants. Floors fell away from under sleeping residents and buried them in the debris. The pride of Santa Rosa, the huge Athenium, a 2,000-seat theater with a post office on the ground floor, collapsed, scattering rubble over the entire block. In the center of the city, the third floor of the Sonoma County Courthouse fell into the interior of the building as its spire-topped dome came crashing down. The small farming community hit by the great earthquake began a few years after the infamous 49er gold rush as an adobe farmhouse and a Spanish land grant. For half a century, the fertile soil and immigrant farming skills were San Francisco's breadbasket and the people of Santa Rosa thrived. Through good times and bad, the Civil War, dismal and recurring depressions, life was prosperous and enjoyable in the bucolic paradise and moderate climate of the Santa Rosa Valley. Self-sufficient, industrious, isolated from the rough and tumble of the raucous boom town across the Golden Gate. But on that terrible day in 1906, those days vanished forever and Santa Rosa was forced to resurrect itself and move into the great 20th century.